Hi everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before and welcome to part two of my South of France vlog. Um, right behind me, like below me, is Monaco where on, I think it's called Tête de Chien which uh, was a bit of a hike but nothing major. Anyway, so welcome to part two. If you haven't already, definitely check out part one where we went to, let's see, Saint-Tropez, we went to Nice and a couple of other bits but this is part two and obviously as we're so close to Monaco we're definitely going to drive down. Then we're going to go to S which is a medieval village. Gorgeous, like you can't even drive there by, uh, by car. You have to park somewhere and then like uh, just walk around the tiny little cobblestone streets. It's picture perfect. The day after tomorrow is going to be Gras. So obviously Gras is well known for fragrance making, perfume and everything. And we have a perfume class booked and I'm going to take you along for that as well. And let's see, oh, on our last full day in the south of France, we do have a motorboat booked for half a day. Hopefully it will work out. Um, I mean, I already paid for everything, but the last time the owner um, replied to my messages was a couple of weeks ago. So I definitely need to follow up on that. Hopefully that will work out. And obviously I'm going to take you along for everything. And Obviously, if this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, hi, I'm Leslie, so glad to have you here. On my channel, I talk about all things luxury, in particular handbags, but I cover a wide range of topics. Obviously, I also enjoy filming travel vlogs, and I mean, traveling is definitely a luxury. Um, shopping vlogs, unboxings from time to time. So if any of that sounds like a thing, I would love for you to consider subscribing. And before I keep you any longer, let's head to Monaco. <laughs> I'm gonna try to find footage of when we first went to Monaco in 2021, the difference in terms of uh, how busy it is is insane. Oh, behind me is uh, Goya and there's no line, um, but <laughs> anywhere else basically, it's super busy. Granted, last time we went, it was still like pandemic times and I think it was a Sunday, but yeah, compare that to today. Today is, I think, is it Wednesday? It's so busy. Also today was supposed to be overcast. Um, I mean, there are a couple of clouds in the sky, but it's still, oh, again, I guess, so hot, like so hot. I'm literally melting. So I think uh, we're basically done with Monaco. We were thinking about going up to the castle. Is it the castle? Like, yeah, the castle, I guess. But there will be another hike and after yesterday in Nice, I don't know if, <laughs> if we can manage. But uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna catch you when we're in S. <laughs> And we arrived in S. This is the botanical garden. I'm going to show you the best view, which is just so breathtaking. Obviously, I've seen it, I've seen it multiple times at this point on Instagram because the algorithm uh, did notice quite early on that I have a trip to the south of France booked. But yeah, I'd say it's well worth it. Um, entry is eight bucks, I want to say. Definitely do it. Um, I mean, if you're interested, but look at this view. Also, it's uh, starting to get a little more overcast and unfortunately a little more humid. Um, I think tomorrow is supposed to be like thunderstorms, not throughout the entire day, but at least like 70% risk. Um, we're going to see what we're going to do tomorrow, but oh, hopefully I'm going to... Huh, let's see if this is the right track. But uh, yeah, S yes, is just stunning. Last time we did manage to go to the Botanical Garden because we arrived quite late. What is it like Botanical Garden? Jardin Exotique, so Exotic Garden. So I'm really glad that we managed to get here earlier. We also managed to secure a parking spot, um, which is kind of hard to come by. 
but we managed and so glad that we went to the Jardin Exotique this time around. Also, like, obviously, S itself, um, there, there are two types of S. So if you're interested in the medieval village of S, it's S Vieuxville, I think. Uh, S sur mer is the one, like, <laughs> at the sea, basically, a couple hundred meters below uh, where I'm standing right now. And that's uh, just like your regular small little town, but not the beautiful medieval village. So if you want to see the old uh, S, definitely type that in into your Google Maps. Alright, let's quickly test out how well this, uh, is it called Dead Cat, is actually working because it's quite windy. We decided to drive up some kind of hill and we have a gorgeous view of S. You were thinking S is high above sea level, this hill is. Um, if I can uh, remember to research the name, I'm going to include it on the screen. But yeah, let me turn the camera around and I'm going to show you S from way up high above and pretty far away. Yeah, down there, that's S, so we're very high above. Um, beautiful view and I'd imagine, I don't know if we'll be staying for sunset, but look at that. Look at the sky. Anyway, so I um, quickly wanted to show you the beautiful view and uh, lots of Mediterranean Sea on the other side as well. Anyway, so I think that does it for today for the Monaco and S day. Tomorrow is going to be somewhat of a chill day also because it's uh, by now it's fairly certain that it's going to rain. So we'll see what we're going to do. Maybe just like um, our tiny little village where we have um, our holiday house is called Seance, I believe. And there should be like a pottery market. So we're going to check that out and maybe grab dinner somewhere. And yeah, the day after tomorrow, as I said, it's going to be grass with the perfume course, which I'm so looking forward to. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it so far. If you did, I would really appreciate if you gave this video a thumbs up and yeah as i said there's a part one as well so check that out if in case you're interested but uh, yeah i guess catch you tomorrow said yesterday today is going to be somewhat of a chill day the initial plan was to just like walk around uh, the village where our vacation home is but we decided to jump into the car because um, I found somewhat close by um, apparently one of the most beautiful picture-perfect um, villages in the entirety of France so we're going to check that out and apparently they're well known for their porcelain making so uh, yeah let's do that and let me quickly although the lighting won't be perfect let me quickly show you my outfit I'm a creature of habit when it comes to like summer dressing. I usually wear maxi dresses, but I decided to switch it up this time around. This is like, looks like a pajama, but I promise it's not. It's like a linen set. It does have pockets, which helps. And obviously it goes amazingly with my belt bag, shoes, and um, I guess let's get going. All right, so I plan to go to the pottery or like uh, porcelain village. I'm blanking on the name. Is it like... Something with Saint-Marie, Moustier Saint-Marie. I'm gonna insert the name and once we're there, make sure you're gonna show you the footage, but talk about footage. We could not stop at this is Gorge du Verdun, which is part of the Lac de la Croix. I'm so sorry to every Francophone who's watching my videos because my pronunciation probably isn't the best, but anyway, so this uh, is Gorge du Verdun and we already rented out a paddle boat uh, for an hour. You can also rent out like standard paddling stuff, which I'm definitely not capable of, and also motorboats, but we decided to go for the paddle boats um, as did a lot of other people let me turn around um, but the line wasn't too bad I think we only waited like five minutes there are a couple of like um, uh, businesses that rent out boats there are also tons of people swimming or like climbing the rocks and uh, jumping inside the water we just uh, pedaled away and now I think we're gonna find ourselves a lunch spot or sorry about the noise uh, or finally go to the um, like porcelain village and um, yeah I guess catch you later just want to do like um, fill you in and um, in case you're in the area, it's, 
I think it's in the Provence already, um, so a little um, further away from the coast, but it's beautiful. And if you've consumed any amount of uh, South of France content on social media and everything, I'm sure you will have come across this view. So roll the footage. <laughs> earlier today we're already at the fragrance um, workshop I guess um, we're at Galima which is one of the three um, perfume houses that offers these kind of courses in Graz and we're already at the base notes the initial plan was to kind of recreate Angelique Noir by Guerlain but they don't have every obviously they don't have every single uh, fragrance out there so I think they uh, were missing when it comes to the base notes I <laughs> took a screenshot from Fragrantica uh, Angelica and Cedar they don't have as base notes so I decided to just like wing it and we are supposed to pick out four to five base notes so I went for Bouquet Boisé, whatever that means, Apoponax, Vanilla, and Bois de Santal. Bois de Santal being my favorite out of the ones that I tried. There are a bunch here. Some smelled very like animalic. <laughs> no idea if that's the right term, but anyway, those are the four that I want to go for. And uh, yeah, let me quickly jot them down. <laughs> So that's what we're working with and by the way I forgot to mention if you have any questions in terms of like where I booked stuff let me quickly slot you <laughs> besides the um, perfume bottles or like the note bottles I guess if you have any questions in terms of where I booked what uh, like how far in advance all the good stuff that applies to both this vlog as well as part one just like let me know um, and I'll try my best to answer you and like help you in the comments but yeah let me know any questions that you might have any comments recommendations for my next time in the south of France. Anyway, so yeah, quickly wanted to fill you in. We're currently at the middle notes. Um, I already dropped all of my stuff in here. We're at 75 mils right now. So the top notes are still missing. Um, we're not quite there yet, but uh, anyway, highly recommend doing one of these like perfume courses. It's so much fun. And I think they're like, high Jeez. <laughs> I think they're a couple of higher tiers. Um, we only paid 60 bucks, I think, and we'll get to take home the 100 ml bottle. But I think there are also like more expensive um, courses that you can take that might take a little longer and maybe you get like a certificate at the end. But um, even like the 60 bucks one, so far, highly recommend. All right, so we're done with the perfume course and we decided to walk around Gras and Gras is uh, well known for those kind of umbrellas and excellently um, very much matching with those umbrellas that are basically hanging above most of the pedestrian streets but anyway let me quickly show you my outfit if I manage to get in frame and um, yeah so one of my favorite like summer maxi dresses uh, let's see Fendi Sunnies which I've been wearing tons I uh, bought those in Selfridges when we had our YouTuber meetup last September was it geez that's almost like one year ago anyway and let me <laughs> uh, showing you my bag this is the first time that I'm wearing this bag actually it's a vintage bag I purchased that by Vestia Collective I think like paid 80 bucks and it's a lizard bag vintage and everything so let's continue so walking through grass and oh by the way the owner of the ship like not ship the motorboat is on the smaller side um that uh, we rented for tomorrow actually finally um messaged me back and everything seems to be working out fine so really looking forward to our motorboat rental 
tomorrow. Let me walk down because my parents are waiting. And uh, yeah, let's continue walking through grass. We made it. It turns out the smaller the boat, the um, more you <laughs> experience the waves. Um, but yeah, as I said, none of us uh, has like a motorboat license, so this is all we were able to get. But uh, yeah, we anchored. Hopefully, uh, the boat will stay put. And yeah, behind me, you probably can't see, but behind me is Cannes, and on the other side, actually two islands. There's one tiny one somewhere there, and this is, I think it's called Ile de Magritte or something like that. Anyway, so I think I'm gonna um, go swimming. I can definitely see the ground, so it's not even that deep. And uh, in case I don't catch you anymore, because yeah, today is our last full day, and we definitely need to start packing once we're back um, from our half a day out uh, on the sea. Um, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Again, as I said, if you have any questions regarding anything that I did, either in part one or part two, just like let me know. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Also. I did purchase like a couple of bits um, here and there, mostly like touristy stuff. But uh, yeah, I think this video is going to be long enough. So I think I'm just going to like include like, like a tiny little haul in one of my vlogs or yeah, one of the upcoming videos. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, I'm going to catch you in one of my next videos. Bye.